Hi and welcome to Let's Talk Automotive. I'm Fanny and today we decided to have Fritz de Jager join us. He's normally behind the scenes or behind the camera but this time I decided Fritz why don't you join us for the review because you've actually had the pleasure of driving this car for a couple of days now and uh, who better to tell us a bit more about it. Thanks Fanny and what an awesome week. Uh, I don't usually drive the cars but I took it out for a spin or two with the family as well and what an amazing car it blew my mind awesome so let's do a little bit of an exterior walk around and let's start with the front one thing that's very very interesting and, and uh, spectacular uh, apparent driving this at night is the LED headlights everything's LED high beam low beam fog lights at the bottom everything LED so I don't really care about the looks of lights yeah. but this <laughs> again blew me away so when you drive and you actually turn the steering the lights float into the direction of Correct. your driving path and the the turning lights also come on so it's yes. a it's a intuitive lighting system that gives you light where you need it amazing look and feel about this your initial thoughts when you look at the car uh, Fritz so my thoughts are this is a Volvo Volvo means fancy to me yeah so I look at this car and I thought this isn't a head turner per se because I'm used to the shape and the look of the XC90 uh, but it did turn a few heads yes. I must say I agree with you uh, from a from an external point of view it's it's not a flashy type of car um, it is a beautiful looking car and, and we've got the inception package on this um, comes out standard or with this package with a 21 in and it's a 10 spoke diamond cut alloy wheel um, it's really really fancy it's beautiful funny um, so why I mentioned that it's not an eye turner is I think this car is going to age well it, I would it has not, aged well <laughs> it yes. has so I would not buy it as a quick turnover car on a lease or something I'll buy this one and drive it forever because sure. I think this thing will age well the look is beautiful and I think this is aimed at a market where people want to be fancy they want to have style but they want to drive a car for a longer sure. period I agree looking at the back of the car Fritz a uh, very very much a Volvo kind of finish um, what we've come to expect all the Volvo sort of got the same look and feel again a lot of safety elements with the with the tail lights integrated all the way to the top to make sure that visibility for braking etc etc these guys really think about safety first I love it but if you had to ask me what's the the best feature of the back of this car it sits right here above the number plate <laughs> I had so much fun with the cameras and the views and the safety features again what a great experience but all around really one of my favorite fancy cars okay so talking about the cameras I think it's time let's go and have a look on the inside I will show you a thing or two okay Fritz we are now in the cockpit <laughs> we are now on the business or in the business end of this Volvo um, your initial thoughts Bonnie, this is luxury this is the trim the feeling the seats everything just said uh, this is awesome you know when I'm, uh, I stopped uh, at my brother's place and he said yeah Fritz this suits you <laughs> so I'm, I'm heavily impressed okay let's talk about a couple of the features and let's start here at the at the start stop button because this is quite unique um, normally we would see a press button here you have to turn this knob to start and switch off the engine I think there's a lot of features in this Volvo XC90 that says um, <coughs> this is what you might be used to but here's something new <laughs> we give now, you a little bit of a different taste so it's the first Volvo that I drive and the first fancy Volvo and it, it, it was an overall new experience to me like my process was get in adjust the seats and there's lots of adjustments yes, for the seats. Yes. There's up and down and back support and rest. And it also displays on the display what you are tuning. So that was my first thing. Very fancy. And uh, one thing that I saw is you can you can actually preset seat positions for, for uh, three drivers. And that, that's something that, that Peter always talks about. Is that he actually enjoys a manual, a manual seat adjustment. Uh, because the electric seat always takes a little bit long and etc. Cetera, et cetera. But yeah, the, the memory not only for the driver but also also the passenger mm -hmm. makes it a lot easier it makes it nice i guess fun, uh, uh, peter likes the full and fun <laughs> the, yes. the analogness yes. of it brings me to this display in the front now i'm a i'm a guy that likes a bit of analog yes. um, maybe i don't trust electronics but this display actually um, impressed me a lot all the information that you need comes up as you need it like yes. who's got seat belts on 
what's your speed limit? And then when you change uh, driving modes, for instance, the whole rev counter changed to an economy indicator and not a, a hardcore rev, uh, rev counter per se. Uh, let's talk about the driving modes. So here's a little button here. If you press that button on your screen, it comes up. There's four driving modes. We can go eco, comfort, dynamic, and off-road. So efficient drive, obviously the eco, the everyday use for comfort, dynamics is the, or the dynamic performance is a, is a high performance setting and off-road, which actually really gets this vehicle completely off the ground with the air suspension and, and gives you quite a look that you enjoy. I love it. It transforms a, a low car to a SUV kind of look. I wish I could keep it in, the, in that <laughs> mode forever, but I would say it lifts about 10 centimeters and uh, uh, I think it uh, changes the response of the suspension in any case, yes. but amazing, amazing the, the differences in driving modes that you can apply. Let's talk about the engine quickly because this is a two liter engine, but it's supercharged and turbocharged. Did you know that? In the beginning, I thought it was just a turbocharged engine, yes. um, but I'm not the pro driver. But I thought it was way bigger because this is a vehicle that's heavy and it looks heavy, yes. but it drives like a small car. So never ever did I think, I wish I had more power. So yes. it makes a lot of sense that there's a turbocharger for the... For the high revs. And then a supercharger, the supercharger for that for, initial boost. For the initial boost. Oh, yeah. great. Uh, I think, funny if, uh, if you go through the hardcore specs of this vehicle, there's so many things that's built into this vehicle automatically that you don't know about. And I think some of it you can tune here. But yeah. what was your experience with this whole thing in the beginning? Because that's so fancy. I explained this to Peter exactly <laughs> like this. That, that this made me think of a Samsung and uh, I'm an iPhone guy. So every all the buttons did the opposite of what I expected it to do. It does take some getting used to. But like you say, getting used to, uh, after driving this for a while, things start to make sense. Why the speed control, the cruise control, yes. and the indicator would sit close together. Why the gear lever and the start button yes. would sit together. Um, maybe Volvo thought uh, ergonomically, it makes more sense to design things for uh, for the ease of use than fanciness or the old tradition. Agree. Just Agree. my thought. Safety for Volvo has always been a major factor. Um, they've got a, in this car, they've got a system built in roll over assist, which is the pre-tensioner of your safety belts that pulls and tucks you into the seat as soon as something rolls over the curtain airbags. There's I airbags, see airbags everywhere. Everywhere, all the way to the back. Everybody's got airbags. Um, obviously, Volvo has safety top of mind. And one thing that struck me as very nice is that everything that applies to the driver also applies to the passenger in front, yes. but also to the whole car. So yes. there's speakers everywhere, yes. there's airbags everywhere, there's accessories everywhere, the climate control applies to everybody. and uh, Even the third row. Even the third row, and yes. that's quality and comfort like I've never seen before. Agreed. So Fritz, on the open road, Surely this eight-speed automatic gearbox was a pleasure to drive. It's a huge pleasure. When we spoke about the engine, I said, I never felt like I needed more power. Now, I didn't know that this is an eight-speed gearbox yeah. because the automatic transmission is so smooth yes. and the power is so readily available that, uh, that I, I, it was perfect for me. Yeah. Uh, it didn't feel like I had to kill the engine to get power and uh, the power was there. So yes. great gearbox. Um, really impressed me. Okay, as a final thought, I want to take you back to something that, that you and I both enjoy and appreciate. Talk to me about this Bowers Wilkin sound system in this car. <laughs> I remember the days, funny, when we got our first cars <laughs> and it was a hell of a mission to install the right sound and yes. the roofers and stuff. Yes. This thing comes with bells and whistles. Yeah. What's it called? Bowers and Wilkins. Bowers and Wilkins. And this is Brilliant. The amount of speakers in this car, again, the surround sound experience, it, it blew my ears away. And taking it to a next level because you've obviously got the studio optimized for all seats option. Then you've got an individual stage where you can tune and make sure that you're getting. But look at this, a concert hall, the Gothenburg Concert Hall, the home of the Gothenburg Symphony Orchestra. The sound 
option that this gives you, Fritz, is unbelievable. So when you, I've tried it. So when you play something that's real music and you go to the concert hall setting, it feels like it's expanding the volume in here by 70 times. Yes. You're in a different world and it's brilliant. It's really cool. And what I like is it's already in here yes. i didn't have to solder a single wire <laughs> it's built in and it's part of the system beautiful uh it, it adds to that comfort and easy driving i love it okay now final thoughts and then we have to give our rating okay so we are going to rate this car in its segment looking and thinking about competitors but fritz i'm gonna give this a, a proper nine out of ten your rating out of ten Barney, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. And if I get the opportunity and the lifestyle to buy one of these, um, maybe i also become a Volvo for life, dude. Awesome. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of our review on this Volvo XC90. This is the T6 Fritz. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Fani. It was great joining you. All right, guys, we'll see you again next time. Cheers. Cheers.